we make hundreds to thousands of decisions, right? Every single time we teach. I was a teaching assistant in graduate school. I took kind of every opportunity I could to teach. And through that process, I learned that both I love teaching and I knew very little about it. So I really wanted to try to take more of an academic uh, approach to teaching. So why do you think this research question is actually an interesting one to pursue? With Sarah, there are two factors that we should consider. One is about her actual teaching, and one is about her research and thinking about how to teach. So in her teaching, it's she's very dynamic. And then in her research, she also thinks about how to make teaching better and how to make it evidence-based. I have learned so much from her about how to teach in evidence-based ways, namely drawing from the literature to ensure that we're teaching our students in an active learning way. So I really enjoy challenging assumptions. I really enjoy uh, changing the way people think. And so I would argue that both in my teaching and my research, my goal is to, to have impact and to have change. And I love problems where people have assumed something or have done something as a status quo for a really long time and I start to uncover something that could be problematic about that. Sarah's teaching style is unique and I think that she gets in students engaged for several reasons and in several ways. She clearly cares about them, she's sincere, she connects with them, she really thinks about what works to connect with them and she really makes it clear that she wants to hear from them what she could be doing better. She's willing to really push the boundaries on the assumptions that we make as instructors, even when it feels uncomfortable. So I can say with certainty that ASU is the absolute best place for me and, and my career. So I'm really interested in trying to improve the way we teach undergraduate biology and that aligns uh, really well with ASU's charter of being defined not by who we exclude, but by who we include and how they succeed. And so that really aligns with my teaching philosophy and my research philosophy. Yeah, it's as if Sarah wrote the charter. <laughs> she came to ASU and she stays at ASU because she really truly believes in the charter and the importance of being inclusive and caring about student success for all students. There's a lot of work that's, that's shown that more diverse groups are better. They're better in terms of counteracting bias. They're better in terms of coming up with novel solutions. There's a lot of research that shows that who we are, our identities, are impacting the questions that we address, how we address those questions. My own identities, having depression and being a member of the LGBTQ community, it's stimulating research interests to explore this, right? And some of this is the very first time this has been explored in the context of biology. After taking this course, one thing I definitely learned is how different everyone is and how important it is to kind of bridge those differences together. Actually, when I was in her class, I had a moment where I was struggling with something and I was able to be super open with her and actually communicate my struggles with her without any fear. It was like immediate when I knew something was happening, I immediately communicated with her what I was going through and she was super understanding with that. Sarah cares. She cares about people. She cares about what's right. She cares about making the world better. She cares about ASU's mission and really wanting to be inclusive.